this is Animat, and welcome back to the Muppet Vlog. Now this time we're going to be looking into the 10th episode of The Muppet Show, which features the one and only Harvey Corman. Now for those of you who may not know who Harvey is, he is a very reputable comedian and actor, appearing in many television shows and movies, some of which you might have actually heard of. In film, you might know him more as Hedley Lamar in Blazing Saddles, but also he has appeared in many different TV shows, uh, a, a regular in The Carol Burnett Show, also in The Wild Wild West, uh, he is also in The Monsters, and uh, a na this is just to name a few, but also you may actually know him as the voice of the Great Kazoo in The Flintstones, actually. Uh, but going into the episode itself, honestly, I am extremely surprised. This was such an amazing episode. It really, really was fantastic. Honestly, I don't even know where to begin, but, um, you know, I, I might as well start off with the order, but... Um, I'll start off by saying that the songs, like the musical numbers, they really are great. In fact, we actually got not one, but two musical numbers from The Electric Mayhem. Uh, it starts out with, uh, Atom Bomb, and then there is, uh, another one that is called Jam, and that one is actually really cool. It's mostly instrumental, but, you know, it does have a really nice groove to it, and the song itself, like the Atom Bomb song, it, it has both a blend of, like, you know, a really good feeling of the music, and also you got, like, uh, the Muppet, the Muppet's wacky humor. Like, that's definitely great. And what's actually a really nice bonus, and I'm surprised that the, the show doesn't really do that more, they actually went and interviewed, uh, one of the members of the Electric Mayhem with Animal, and that was actually a really great bit, where, like, you just see Kermit talking with Animal. Now, of course, Kermit would go and interview with many of the celebrity guest stars, but I'm surprised, like, they didn't really do that more. Like, Kermit would just go and have a moment to chat with the people in the Muppets, like Gonzo or Fozzie and stuff like that. You know, it, it does have a little bit of an interesting feeling. Like, um, not only is it really funny, but also we got this really nice moment. Like, we do learn a little bit about Animal and stuff like that. It actually is a really nice bit. Uh, going on to some of the other sketches, I will say... Uh, this is possibly one of the funniest moments I've seen with Fozzie, where, uh, basically, he wanted to do this duet, like, a spontaneous duet with Kermit, like, he didn't even warn him about it, where Kermit has to go and, like, come out and try to say, good grief, the comedian's a bear, but, uh, like, Ker like, Fozzie just keeps sending in the wrong signals, it definitely is a great bit, and honestly, like, uh, the, the past times that I've seen Fozzie in the show so far, like, I did get a few chuckles, and especially, like, he does work well with, uh, Statler and Waldorf, well, I mean, like, work well, you know what I mean, but, uh, but this one, I gotta say, it definitely was a great number, and it really did make me laugh, but there is no denying that the highlight of this episode, what really makes it great as it is, is actually Harvey Corman, and my god, they really used him at his total potential. He appeared in many different skits, many different bits, um, there, like, well, the thing is, with this one, funny enough, there aren't really a lot of musical numbers, but, uh, with Harvey Corman, my god, like, it, it's just hilarious every time he appears. Like, uh, rather it be the first bit where he's, like, trying to, like, he's pretty much this, um, uh, uh, the, this circus performan performer, and he brings in, like, the giant blue Muppet to go and, like, try to perform stuff, and it's actually really hilarious, that, that whole bit is great, and then also, like, Kermit does talk to him, like, his usual celebrity guest talk and stuff like that, and, uh, you know, he actually does feel awkward by being the only human being among, like, the Muppet show, okay, like, I do get backstage, and, like, maybe in terms of the other Muppets, like, uh, Hilda, they're not necessarily the most human per se, but I do get, like, he does feel like he's the only human. And it actually leads to a great punchline, which, like, they even continued. It was a running gag of the episode, and it ends up being great. It was a lot of fun. It, it has, like, amazing material to work with. Um, any other uh, moments, I would say that... Um, like, the, like, even some of the other bits, I would say they were really good. Like, the Wayne and Wanda bit, it does have a, a bit of a good punchline to it. Uh, Veterinarian's Hospital, 
Uh, another, it's like the last episode where it suddenly goes, it's suddenly like dark but humorous at the same time. The same thing goes to here when suddenly like the dude would just explode out of nowhere. Uh, but also, uh, honestly, there, there's not much else I could say. This is overall great. Uh, there is one more bit I would say that, like, it is completely different, but it really is a nice addition, is actually we see Robin actually singing, like, this sweet little song called Halfway Down the Stairs, and I'm sure that, like, for many people, they will love this little bit. It's, um, uh, it's definitely a definitive highlight for Robin. It's not necessarily, like, he's acknowledging Uncle Kermit or stuff like that. He's just, like, Robin singing this sweet little song about, like, being you know, halfway, like, halfway through the stairs, and, like, this is where he likes to sit and stuff like that. I'm sure for a lot of people, like, it's very, it's a very tender and heartwarming moment. Like, it's not necessarily funny, sure, but it's definitely a great musical number. So, honestly, there really isn't much complaints so far. I would say that this is, uh, so far, one of the best episodes of the season. It definitely is hilarious. It is great. Uh, my god, like, somehow in this episode, they really did kick up a notch. Um, and this is really the kind of episode that I really do enjoy. This is the kind that really gets me going and, you know, really gets me excited as a Muppet fan to see. Like, this is one of the definitive, like, this is the Muppet Show. This is what makes them great. This is the material that they got and it's just so amazing. I don't know what kind of magic Harvey Corman brought into that episode, but it's overall fantastic. You guys gotta see this episode. It's just really fantastic. But anyways, that's pretty much it for this one, and I definitely enjoyed this episode, and hopefully I will go and see more episodes that are as great as this that will be to come. So until next time, and hopefully we'll see more great episodes like this, see you later, dudes!